Yeah. On antibiotics. Ten days. Ten days antibiotics. Huh? Now Finish everything. Eight. Then eye drops also, right? Ten days. Yeah. Eye drops also. Come, yeah. come see the eye. Okay, hold the eyes. Side view and front view. How old is the chow chow now? Two plus. Two plus. Huh? This entropian, it rolls inwards quite a lot, since young. Uh, the ulcer, this is the eyeballs are quite small. Uh. This side, okay, let's see this side. Come help, hold the, hold the chin now. Hold the chin up. Uh. Okay, you can see uh. This one it rolls in a lot, yeah. Trends. Ulcer is still there, you know? Yeah. Uh, you hold this side, uh. hold this up first. This one, lower lid, also entropian. It's like the same also, right? Exactly, both also roll, roll quite deeply in, at least 180 degrees. Uh. Very severe one. Can you see the ulcer anymore? Anymore ulcer? Can I see? Uh? How's the appetite now? Very good. No diarrhea vomiting? Uh? No. How old is he now? He's a male. Two and a half. September will be three. Yeah. So if you want to neuter him, ah. it might take longer time, you know. Let's see, see the two. That's quite... Is it swollen? Ah? Ah, it come to me like that, I think. Ah? Not swollen, eh? <laughs> is he licking it? It's okay. Very... Uh... It's not licking it? No. No. Uh. Yeah. But this surgery will be at one hour already, you know. Okay. So better wait, wait, uh, wait. Uh, you want a neuter at the same time? It's no, the it's same anesthesia, right? It's, it's, it's it takes longer, you know? Do you, do you think it's, uh, it's up to you? Is it advisable uh, or not? Not advisable because of the... <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Just focus okay. on that. The one is two eyes and yeah. two yeah. Eyelids, four it's eyelids, actually. August 82016. This Chow Chow, early on, did not have any... Uh, uh, was not able to open the eyes, eyes at all. That was about three weeks ago, and uh, he had eye ulcers. Then uh, the first vet gave some uh, prednisolone, and uh, I think the owner went to a few vets for surgery, but uh, the vets didn't want to do it. Now you can see that, that I had the blood test taken about ten days ago to check whether the dog is healthy and it shows that there was an increase in white cell count and also neutrophils suggesting this dog had bacterial infection of the bloodstream which is probably due to this uh, eye infection and uh, after that the dog was put on antibiotics and eye drops and now it's about 14 days, uh, about 10 to 14 days you can see the dog is actually more active as you can see, uh, you can see Although his eyes cannot be open 100%. Now, Judy, come uh, unroll the eye, eyelid. Let's see how. Let's do, do one eye first, the left eye. Eh? Okay, you see the eye, eyelid up and down. Eh? Is, is, is the left eye is, is really roll inwards. Roll inwards quite, quite a lot. The down one. Uh, okay, so the top one is definitely. Upper eyelid is definitely. You can see the. the, the the dampness, uh, is it the whole, whole area? Then the lower one, eh? Low one, you don't see so much dampness, but it's, it's also roll in about uh, how many degrees? 90 degrees. The upper one is probably 180 degrees. Then, then the other eye, the upper eyelid, let's see. The, you unroll it first. Unroll it. So the upper one definitely, okay, let go of the upper one first. You can see it rolls in quite deep in. Uh. Uh, wait, hold, hold properly first. It's about the. Uh, let me see. Uh, okay, the lower one. Okay, you just don't don't uh, just let go of the lower one and see upper one. Just let go of the lower one. So is it normal the lower one? Or oh, just slightly roll in? Okay, that's like okay. Upper one rolling more, right? Upper one, upper eyelid. How, how much it roll in? Quite a lot. Okay, quite a lot. So, so we can see is the lateral canthus 
of the upper eyelid and the, um, the lower eyelid. Well, let's sit down first. Okay, let's see. Yeah? Let me see. Before surgery, we have to see which one is rolled in. You, you can hold, hold this. Uh, let me check from there. You hold this to video. Uh. You come, come, come. Just let go. Okay, come. I will check. Come. Ready? Let me check. Okay, come. Sit down first. It's important that you check which part. Okay. We start with this eye first. Now, you just have a look like this. You can see that there's an ulcer. Do you see the ulcer? There's a big white, white color one. Do you see the ulcer? Do you manage to zoom in? Yes. There's an ulcer now. Now let's see the lower eyelid first. Whether there's entropion or not. Entropion means in rolling. Now the lower eyelid yeah. is swollen. But there is entropion through the whole lip margin. This part where you can see the tenderness. Okay, now we look at the upper eyelid. Come, not the upper eyelid. Huh? Just focus on the okay, upper eyelid. The whole, whole length above. This whole part is also rolled in. I will call it about 360 degrees. 183 and this severe one upper. The lower one also, also bad. So to cut, you have to cut the whole thing. But now let's see the other eye. Now the other eye This electro, you can see the ulcer also. See two and a half years old. This ulcer. Now, this one, same thing. This, this upper at margin is in, but the lower eyelid is only the more to the lateral side. Lateral side. Uh, okay, it is uh, August 8, 2001, 6, about 6 pm. The entropion surgery had been done under GA and the chow chow had also been neutered. Now you can see post op the eyelids have been rolled outwards and actually you can see very uh, much clearer. You can see his, his eyes. And uh, so far so good. Instead of half closed, or actually his eyes were three quarter closed. Now what happened was, this dog was abandoned by several owners until the recent one adopted him. Now what happened was, he had two eye ulcers, and uh, this entropion must have been quite long. This dog's around three years old, three years old, a nice dog, and uh, and the whole eyelids were infected. There was there there, there were two cornea ulcers as well. And uh, each eye has one cornea ulcer, and they were discharge and infection. So, so as you can see, it's still quite painful. So I wouldn't touch him, and uh, he'll be going home soon. He'll be on painkillers. Now it will be difficult for the owner to put eye drops and eye ointment because obviously it's, it's a very nervous dog as well. Now I'm just seeing, uh, videoing the results of the entropion surgery about one hour after surgery and uh, you can see the eyes are opened. No, the, the, the strip of of the upper and lower eyelids have been cut off and uh, after that the the eyelid the the the, the after the cutting out of a strip the elliptical strip of the eyelids from eyelid margin The, the stitches are sutured using absorbable sutures 
You can see the eye ulcer on the left eye now. And on the right, there's an eye ulcer as well because this, this intrubin has been going on for three years or more as the dog was abandoned and nobody wanted him except the present owner. And uh, when he came here about three weeks ago, he, he's practically eyes were all closed and fully infected. A blood test shows shows that uh, the white cell counts were high and he had actually a, an infection of the bloodstream. And after antibiotic treatment and eye, eye ointment, according to the owner, the dog became more lively and active and add more. And uh, he could open his eyes maybe about uh, not, not as white as now, he could open his eyes about uh, a bit more and uh, has then before treatment with antibiotics and eye, eye drops and eye ointment. But now today, after the surgery, you can actually see, especially on the left eye, he had this long-standing ulcer, cornea ulcer, which is a pink, which is a pink, uh, lump of flesh, you can see that. And that, that will be very, very, very long. So this could be a test, test, decimetosil. Early on, that was the left eye. And then now you see the right eye. The right eye, it has an ulcer as well. On the lower part of it at six o'clock. But, uh, it's not so obvious. Now, the thing is, for androbian surgery, the owner would like to rush into it, but actually it's best to give a course of antibiotics. Hello. Good antibiotics. Hello. Can come in? Yeah, come, come. And uh, so, so with antibiotics, now uh, the, the treatment, yeah, so you can see it better. And uh, so we have to wait for another 10 days. Huh? Come, you want to go home ready? Now he'll be on painkillers. Now I don't know how you're going to put eye drops on because he's very, uh, of course now he's very sensitive. Huh? He can't touch his eyes uh, because he's, he's sensitive. So we'll give him the painkillers as well. And uh, so far his eyes looks good. Huh? So eye drops three times a day if possible, if not two times. Huh? To clear the dirt. The, the, did you see the ulcer? The ulcer is already there for a long time, especially the left eye. There is one red spot there. So don't allow him to to go out because he's sensitive to sunlight. Because of the ulcer. <coughs> Although the first vet has given penicillin much earlier. So he can go home. Huh? And you see him in 